Hey, what's going on guys? Antonio here with AMA Fishing. I got something new. I think I showed it in the last video, but I was using a Shimano Corrado DC. Um, I liked it. Everything about it was great. The drag, um, it casted a mile. Well, not a mile, but it casted decent, especially when I had on a plug. Um, the only thing it was just, it was a little bulky for me. I don't know why, but when I had it in my hand, and I think it was just the rod I had it paired with too, which is a great rod, but it's just those two together. I feel like I was just holding a softball the whole time. And then after cast, after cast, after cast, I just wore my little wrist out. So I started looking around and then one guy pointed me towards Luz. I've, I've never used Luz in about the year and a half I've been fishing. So, but I've just never thought about it. I always thought I was gonna be Shimano forever. And then that changed also when I picked up a Daiwa Ballistic 2500. I'll show you guys that one later on. But right now, this is the Luz Custom Light SLP Speed Spool. So SLP is super low profile. Um, quick specs on it real quick. 10 plus one ball bearings, 90 yards, 12 pound. However, they put 15 pound uh, super slick power pro, which was awesome. 20 pounds of max drag, 28 inches per turn, 751 gear ratio, and the weight, the weight guys, the weight, 4.9 ounces. Like what? 4.9 ounces. It feels solid in my hand, um, carbon fiber reel right here. Something different I've never seen before, a little indicator. It lets you uh, remember, I guess, if you have multiple rods or multiple reels, because I've heard and read a lot of people get the same reel and then they'll spool up different line on it. Um, a lot of bass fishermen do it, what I've seen. So you can just put on there. So I just have on there 15 pound braid. Um, I think it has magnetic drag here. Some was saying that this little piece here, you know, makes it a little hard to pull out the, the side plate, but I didn't find it too difficult. So you just pop this little guy right here, twist up towards you, and then off she comes. There you go. So immediately when I got it, the instruction said to apply a couple dabs of oil right inside here, which I did. And then amazingly, now it feels even smoother. If you can say one, two, three, four, six, Little breaks there, pop that back on. Anyways, I, was, I just wanted to show you guys this because I was looking and I was looking, I was looking online, looking for something to say, hey, go buy it, hey, try it out. So not any reel is gonna be, of course, backlash proof or of course, you know, salt water resistant. So what we've been doing when I get off the water, or what I started doing with the Shimano Prado DC, I got a spray bottle, don't mind the, the Febreze, I got this wrist out. Put water in here so we spray it off mist it and then give it a good wipe down this one however with bait casters now i've learned is to take out the whole thing pop it out wipe inside there wipe all that on the outside if you're doing saltwater fishing because if not you're going to get little chips because that salt's going to sit in there and start corroding and eating it away so make sure you wipe that down like take care of your gear that's what i've learned over this past year, I've ruined maybe a couple of reels already by then getting dunked and I just gave it a quick rinse and didn't care. And then it locked up on me. So now I do my due diligence and clean them when I get done. So hopefully later on, we're gonna get on the water and I'll be able to test it out. Um, I actually got to make a couple casts with it. And believe it or not, I got all the way to the setting three before I got a nasty little backlash when I was casting into the wind. So took in what I learned from the Corrado DC and applied it to here and it worked really well I'm gonna just being really careful with this there we go and there we have it all right, so that's the custom light. Like I said, 4.9 ounces, fits in my palm. Um, the one thing I'm gonna do is I have it paired up with the Waterloo. Waterloo here, Salinity. Uh, another Texas brand here, great. Loved it, I got it in for the winter quirky season. It's awesome, big plugs. Um, it does the job right now. I like to cast a 1 8th. I use the either Texas side or like I've showed you before, or I'll show you later on is the Naughty Hooker Jig Heads. And then we're gonna try and get on some black drum or red drum later on. And we'll see how it does. And I'll show you guys how it casts. I'll cast sideways, I'll cast overhand, I'll pitch it. 
I'll do a quick cast and then give you guys what I think about it. But so far, when I was making a couple casts yesterday, I loved it. I don't think I'm gonna grab anything else for now in the meantime, because I like to switch over. Um, I do have an old 18 hollow point rod coming in. That's another local brand here in Texas. I'll give you guys the ins and outs of that when I get it in. I'm gonna put that on my Stratic FL and then make a couple casts also with that. If that comes in today, hopefully, it's Saturday, it's supposed to be in by eight. I'm hoping it gets in before then so I can take it out. But stay tuned guys, and then I'll show you how this works on the water. Dang. Good stank stank. Always guaranteed to catch. You get the hang of it? God damn it. There it is. There he is. Slide on down. There we go. There you have it. It's a little trout. There we go. There we go. Oh, this is a, this is a good drop. Oh, wait, what is this? What is that? I don't know, what the heck? gonna do this because this guy has some teeth on him he clearly came out the water so he clearly knows what he's doing look at that all right my guy so uh, what I'm gonna have to do is probably clip his mouth all right there we go there we go hold on my guy oh shit that's how you're gonna break your own jaw okay All in all, it was a good reel. Made it all the way to the second setting. Cast them out, we'll do one more cast. Let's see if I can put it on. One right before one. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Always check behind you before you cast. <laughs> Look at that. Barely any thumb. Barely any thumbing. Holy crap.
Holy. Come on. <laughs> See how far. So, all right, guys, finishing up this video, we took out the loose custom light and I was able to catch a couple ding trout and it performed really well. I'm really satisfied with it. Um, I really like it. I think I'm gonna hang on to this one for quite some time. Um, I was able to catch that big ribbon fish. I mean, I don't know what that, how that happened, but he took a bite out of it. Um, but I just wanted to get it out there for a couple hours and hopefully show you guys, you know, how it casts and everything else. I had it all the way down to, I think I put it to number two and still was barely little thumb able to cast it and not bird's nest it. Um, this morning when I took it out, um, this morning was rough. Didn't catch anything, but I was casting, casting, casting. I got a little too, a little too aggressive and I had it on, I think, the one between the one and the two, I was getting too cocky. Casted it and snapped off my uh, one eighth ounce lure. So that happened, but like I said, I've never used bait casters. I barely started using them and then I immediately went to DC. Switching from DC to this, the, the control it has when you cast is amazing. I was making pitches into the wind and it held up fine. So I highly recommend it. 4.9 ounces, you can't beat it. It's light, palm it really easy. And so far it's held up. Um, if you got any questions or you wanna see anything else with it, let me know, I'm gonna be fishing with it a lot. Actually right now I just sold my Waterloo rod, so I'm gonna have to get another bait cast rod. I'm hoping to get the old 18 suppressor, so that should come in maybe next week. But for now you'll see I'm gonna be using my uh, Daiwa 2500 ballistic. So I'll get some more videos for you guys coming, all right? Appreciate it. Let me know what you guys think.